the Indonesians, they're very friendly. The vast majority of the Indonesian people are tolerant, they're friendly, they're wonderful, kind people. Very humble people, very calm, easygoing. They're very laid back. When I think of Indonesians, I just kind of think of cheerful and happy, silly, maybe. It's kind of, I don't want to say immature, but kind of immature in a good way. The biggest things for me over there was just how friendly the culture is. I mean, over here in the US, you hop on a bus and if you start talking to the person next to you on the bus, people are gonna look at you strangely like, there's something wrong with you? Why, why are you talking to me? Like we very much value our privacy. Over in Indonesia, people have no qualms about just talking to you right on the street. People come up to you and talk to you a lot. You can start conversations and 99 times out of 100, the people go right along with it. They have no problem with it. If you're nice to them, they'll be nice to you, especially coming from a different country. They'll really respect that you're making an effort to learn their language, to learn their customs, and just to get to know them as a person. They'll really value someone caring about them, and I think they're very loyal. Once they're your friend, they're gonna be your friend, and they'll really care for you. They really try to promote religious equality, and that's one thing that I really appreciated. They're very strong on family. Again, Indonesians, they're helpful, they're friendly, they're generally very hospitable. Once you form a good relationship with them, it's gonna last. Overall, it's incredibly safe. I felt really safe the whole time I was there. I mean, of course, there's obviously going to be your rare exceptions, but for the most part, I was very comfortable in day to day. They celebrate what's called Kanaikan Isa Almasi, which means that the day that the prophet Isa rose to heaven. But it, for Christians, we think of that as the day, 40 days after the resurrection that Christ ascended to heaven. So they celebrate that as a national holiday, which I thought was really cool. And they celebrate Mother's Day is, I think it's the day after Christmas. And so they have Christmas and the Mother's Day, one after the other. But one of the most interesting Muslim holidays is Ramadan. And so the whole month, uh, they fast from sunup to sundown. And it's really interesting to see because for uh, the Muslim people, that's it's their show of their faith. and. It's, it's super cool to see because they have this whole month where they're dedicated and they fast and then you see at the end of that month they go home and it's called uh, Labaran and Labaran is this holiday where everyone goes home so the cities are just empty they're all out in the villages meeting they're going and visiting their parents their grandparents and they're staying with them so it's just a really unique aspect of family that uh, you really don't see much anywhere else. American food is boring. We don't believe in flavor like Indonesians do. You may have heard of the Spice Islands that were this huge trade thing. Uh, if you've seen the one of the Pirates of the Caribbean movies, they talk about the East India Trading Company. And that was a company created in England that had more power than most countries because they controlled the spice trade. And these infamous Spice Islands, that's Indonesia. Here in the US, you see a motorcycle like for every thousand cars or so over there it's like 10 to 15 motorcycles for every car you see so motorcycles scooters they're everywhere and it all just kind of like flowed the traffic as we went no one really followed rules the lights stoplights were more like guidelines but it all still just held together in this really cool flow a never-ending game of chicken is how traffic works over there we popped on one of the uh, transport buses which it's usually like as many people crammed inside as you can get with some guy leaning out the edge screaming, hey, get on this bus, this is where it goes, this is where it goes. One of my favorite places was this, it's called Water and Steak, it's a steak and shake. And you could get two country fried steaks with gravy and vegetables and a milkshake for a buck fifty. I rarely had a meal that cost more than 10,000 rupiah. So for a dollar you can get wonderful, delicious, filling meals. I love Indonesian people. Just some of the quirky things that we've mentioned earlier about their culture, it just you just come to love it. They're very friendly, very open, very expressive people. It was wonderful to get to know them.